How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Tixie Dust, here with another episode of Stellaris, a video game we haven't played in a while, so I figured I would check in on our Xenomorph Hive. Uh, last episode, we we came into contact with our first rival space empire, the Commonwealth of Zaox, is how I'm going to guess you say that. So... There's definitely going to be other empires that we come across, so things should only get more exciting from here as we'll start uh, encountering other empires and possibly even space battles. Uh, so we will conflict with the other empires. So let's see where this takes us. Fossils from what appears to be several species of aquatic animals have been found on the barren and airless surface of AJ-88. There are indications that the surrounding asteroid belt was created from the remains of a shattered planet, and these findings seem to confirm that theory, judging by the fossils, the planet supported life and was at least partially covered by water. Society research gain 149. <laughs> Our construction is complete. Our construction is complete. We've encountered some form of alien vessels in the Antari system. These strange objects have been flagged as gamma aliens until we can find, learn more about them. See what I said? <laughs> it's only going to happen exponentially from this point on. Search stations. Our research. We found them. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Well, we're going to research it. All of our researches are going to come up, so we can select new ones. Since it's we've come across. It's time Technology to start conceived. building some more ships as we're going to need a fleet. The more we Technology start to conceived. encounter and interact with other species. Let's go with AI controlled Our colony ships. Complete. And for this, we're going to go with carrier operations. That'll give us the hangar bay. Complete. Spaceborne life forms, which we call Tianki, are docile creatures capable of assessing some lower dimension of subspace. They roam from system to system with remarkable ease. They graze on gases common to the upper levels of many gas giants. It's highly unlikely, to say the least, that this is their only food source, but intake of other nutrients has yet to be observed. They will not attack unless provoked. They can safely be ignored. Hunting them would be a net loss anyway. Oh, 
Oh, right. I think we're still researching that area, so... We have found an anomaly. Strong energy emissions of an unknown origin make this asteroid stand out from the rest of the peers in this crowded asteroid field. Technology conceived. Star based. We're gonna definitely wanna Yeah. Anything that increases our fleet capabilities we're gonna want at this time since we're now encountering other forces. Biodiversity studies. I'm going to go with hydroponics farming. That'll allow us to make our star bases, have hydroponics farms. We can see that our rival is quickly um, expanding. Asteroid 91F397 is pockmarked with craters from weapons blasts. It appears to have been used as a target range by someone roughly two millennia ago. Residual energy readings suggest that they tested increasingly exotic weaponry, including subspace bombs and some kind of singularity generator. Our scientists would be interested in studying the unusual echoes that remain. Interesting. Signs of activity by an ancient. Okay. A series of deep boreholes on the surface of Zelmadok 2 are all that remain of the Erasian mining operation that was once active on this world some 1.2 million years ago. The XMF Imahun Ima, Ima has conducted a thorough surface scan, but we have yet to find the remains of any actual mining facilities. Our situation log is updated. have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Fanox system. The strange objects have been flagged as Epsilon aliens. Our construction is complete. Hostile alien forces in the Phonak Phonak system. We have found an anomaly. Complete. Okay, after investigating the boreholes on Zalmadak, our archaeologists found the fossil remains of over a hundred Eurasian miners at the bottom of one of them. 
They appear to be more victims of the Javorian pox that brought about the fall of the Eurasian Concordat. In a few attempt to keep the disease from spreading, their comrades dumped the bodies down one of the boreholes before the planet was evacuated. Interesting. Our construction is complete. Our construction is complete. Class 12 asteroid orbits this moon. The small planetoid's orbit appears too far too stable for its presence to be a natural occurrence. Our construction is complete. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Musita 3A. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long been since rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but the operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they began. Debris from what must have been a massive orbital installation has been discovered above Yuval 2A. Artifacts recovered amongst the debris have confirmed that the space station served as the headquarters of the Eurasian Concordat's Authority of Disease Control some 1.2 million years ago. Eurasians were far more susceptible to alien diseases than most known species, and the budget of the Public Health Institute nearly rivaled that of their military. Despite this, surviving records show their entire species perished from the Javorian pox. Our construction is complete. We have found an anomaly. There's a lot going on this episode. The XMF Ima Un Ima crew is excited to report an unanticipated find on the surface of Medkarash 1. Not only are the plentiful sand dunes of the planet composed of rare metal granulate, the sand itself is almost entirely composed of countless broken nanites. These microscopic machines are millions of years old, their structure degraded far beyond any chance for reactivation. While we cannot determine a source of origin for these nanomachines, society that created them must have been highly technologically advanced. Science Officer XMF Ima Un Ima postulates that the nanites may have been used to terraform the surface of Med Karash one millions of years ago. So we gained a lot of benefits from that research. We have found an anomaly. Well, we've also started upgrading this planet, so hopefully that turns itself around. We have recovered the remnants of several research logs from the debris field above Yuval 2A. The final entries are all focused on a finding a cure for the Javorian pox that was sweeping across the Irasian Concordat, and they grow increasingly desperate as the situation worsened. The last entry reveals that the pox had spread in an uncontrollable fashion on the space station itself, and attachment details of all of their failed attempts to produce a cure, and the vain hope that the data would be useful to future generations of Eurasian scientists. We gained another artifact and some engineering research credit. 
Our storm is strengthened. We have found an anomaly. Construction is complete. Perfect. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit of Yaval. I'm not great with Roman numerals. It is covered in scorch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded and preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the XMF Ramrod managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of his claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race, possibly a mate or a revered leader. Man, that's... That's like fine. That's like cracking open like a tomb. We have surveyed the system. We have surveyed the system. Technology conceived. So the hydroponics farm we have done. The system. Do planetary unification. Our construction is complete. We have found an anomaly. The asteroid A1937 is emitting some sort of radiation and controlled burst. It's someone or something trying to communicate with us. We have the system. Space whales. A1937 is partially hollow within its interior space, whereas a dense honeycomb structure crafted of some unknown alloy has in containers of alien genetic material. By all appearances, this is an archive of life, the genetic record of some earlier civilization come and gone. Most of the DNA is hopelessly degraded, but there is still much to learn. So we gain some. Alright, so we. Okay, so we just gain a couple of, of engineering and society credit, I want to say. Our construction is complete. Build the mining stations. Let's do it. Construction is complete. We have found an anomaly. Caught in an orbit around 4759C is a small unknown object moving at such a high speed it beggars belief. Construction is complete. We have surveyed the system. Okay, guys, I think we're going to call it here today. Um, 
I'd like to thank everybody for watching the video as we seem to keep up with our first rival and expansion. Hit that like and subscribe button if you found this game interesting, fascinating. I personally love the fact that it's randomly generated so everything you come across is new. Uh, some of the quest lines repeat but you never find them in the same order. So this game, if you start a new save file, it's always got something there waiting for you. Um, this is the first I've come across the Eurasian conflict with that pox, so that's pretty interesting. Leave your feedback, guys, in the comments section, um, whether it be about this video or many other videos you would like to see me uh, make. And until then, guys, keep your eyes out for the next Hixie Dust video and have yourselves. So